Look, I don't know if this is a thing, but do people actually put this this kind of optic on a, a VSS? I'm I'm thinking no. Is, is this an L can also? I, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I I don't think people do that. <laughs> it looks funky anyway. Ooh, double headshot. Feels good though. All right, this this game, ladies and gentlemen, I think is about to explode at least with content. Uh, this game is Ground Branch, if you haven't seen it. I'm sure most of you have seen it if you've seen my channel more than once. It's sort of a staple of the channel. But what I wanted to do today was just come onto this. There, there are a couple different things I want to point out. First and foremost, we are our objective right now is to hunt a high value target somewhere. I don't I, I think actually I think he's in the plane now that I think about it. We have a high value target there, we have to go and doink and we're going to be using our vss which is not in the game but it's a mod both of these are modded aspects of the vanilla game but i'm excited about this and the future of modding because if you watched my recent video on ground branch it talked about how that hang on i gotta stabilize my aim a little bit Ooh. It, it talked about how they're going to be adding a, a little bit more mod support by releasing the SDK and adding Steam Workshop support, at least after shortly after the 1034 update. And that gets me really excited because... Oh, come on. Yeah, don't try to run. Two more over there. Because, like, games like Ready or Not, you have got loads and loads of maps. Oh, no! That was a civilian. This is <laughs> this is semi permissive. So you're were those civilians? Am I just out here shooting civilians? I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll buff. Anyway, <laughs> but ready or not, jeez, ready or not has loads of maps, and one of the the areas that like Ground Branch has been lacking is the fact that it doesn't have hardly any maps. I mean, it does, but you have to wait for a very long time to get the maps and get them optimized and stuff like that. There's a new one coming called Hideout. Uh, that's coming in, in the next 1034 update, but <laughs> I can't believe I'm sh shooting civilians down. This guy looks like he should be armed, so maybe he's not a civilian. I don't know. Anyway. I'm hoping that means that content for this is gonna really oh those are bad guys come on i'm hoping what that means is that people really dive into the content creation when it comes to this thing that modders really show show off their stuff and a lot of new things come now this vss right now is just essentially a reskin of the ak-74 like there's another guy over here. I know that everything isn't perfect on it. Like I know the, the VSS I think He's has... Stop! VSS <laughs> I think has a faster fire rate. You can see the magazine is funky. I've got a 30 round magazine in, but because it's just a reskin, looks like the little 10 round magazine. I really wish I had like a laser or I wish I could take off something mid, mid fight, you know? But that's what makes this game, that's what's going to make this game really, really fun. I'm just really excited for it. A lot of people don't like the fact that it's, you know, a game that's been developed very slowly over the past 10 years, but it's getting there. It's it's slowly getting there, and uh, I, I just really enjoy it. Mostly because, you know, I'm a, I'm a realism enjoyer. Not like hyper-realism, like if, if there were to be a real-life situation, I would be dead meat but adding i can't even see man i gotta get out my pistol adding a, a few bits of realism here and there things that like weapon manipulation especially weapon models i really enjoy that 
All right, where are you guys? Another thing that they're adding is prone. You can only crouch here. He's one of them! Yeah, get out of here. You can only crouch. Did he come out of the bathroom? Poor guy. But they're adding prone, too, which is a, a highly requested feature. Because, you know, you can't prone. Like, this is supposed to be a realistic tactical shooter, and you can't go prone. So that's kind of been a, a bleh situation. All right. Where is our HVT? I, I don't think it showed up. Maybe he's up top or in the cockpit or something. Can I go up here? No, I have to take those stairs, don't I? But I'm excited. I mean, PvP like that is going to be wild. Because you can. it's already hard enough to see enemies. There's no real way to spot people. There's not a whole lot of contrast between... Did I kill him? There's not a whole lot of contrast between, like, the, the environment. No, he must be down there. And the people. So I think PvP is going to be wild. But it's also going to be cool for, like, cinematics. If you... Speaking of, like, my... Well, my little cowboy hat there. You like that? Little cowboy operator. It's also going to be awesome for cinematics. So you can have, like, a two-man sniper team. You can... You know... Go prone. And lay down on the ground. Hopefully that also means that the bipod is going to work. Because right now the bipod does not work. This is my guy, but... I see enemy! <laughs> Another imposter. Look at him. Trying to pull off the cowboy hat. I do it a little bit better. Anyway. I think that's it. I think we have to make our way to the extraction. I think it was over there. Oh, yeah. Right over there. But I just wanted to show off... I'll put the... I, I will previously have put the names of the modders on the... Um, on the screen there. But I am very stoked for what some people can make when it comes to maps. When it comes to other content. Even game modes. I, I'm in touch with a guy that's... fellow that's making some different game modes. That's pretty cool. These guys... I can't see a thing. Hopefully point shooting gets added soon in, in the sense that like... I see enemy! In the sense that I can actually sort of angle the weapon. That would be nice. Tell you what, let's just do this. Let's just... I'll take this. We'll finish it out with this, huh? Let's clear up the upstairs so that we know our extraction is safe. There we go. And there's going to be some new new animations, especially when it comes to, like, sliding across the ground to prone and stuff like that. So I'm very stoked. Let me know what kind of mods you guys think should be in the game. What you think people should uh, make. Or what you're planning on making if you're a modder. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Subscribe for more. And until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay gray.